Hello everyone and welcome back to the Minecraft video and for this video I have something quite interesting to show you guys so it's going to be a really fun video because we're going to be doing the paintball mod it's so cool so let's get started so we have the red team the yellow team the orange team the green team the blue team and the purple team I am only starting off with a base and um, that's like my first item and to be able to make this is very simple, it's um, well, whichever colour you want to make. It's purple wall on either side, so you need six in total. You need a diamond, a chest on the top, and an iron door at the bottom. This will get you an instant base. So let me show you what it looks like in other colours, for example. Let's do, uh, let's do yellow. So on the yellow one, it's yellow wall with a diamond in the middle, a chest, and an iron door. As far as I am aware, I think I'm the yellow team. I'm not really sure. I'm a bit confused. Am I the yellow team? I'm not really convinced that I am um, because I did try the red one earlier and it says I'm not part of that team. So I don't know what's going on. Let's get out the blue team and actually let's get the red team also because those are like the most common colors. So let's get those out. Perfect. And let's go ahead and place them. So you guys ready? So all you got to do is right click on the floor. And if it shows up like this, it's fine. It doesn't mean anything. Um, then you right click on it. And there we go, we're inside the base. So let me show you around. It's very small. This is like the little castle to protect you from everyone's paintballs. Uh, let's go back inside. And we have a chest, okay. Let's get these out. So we have a pod. We can put this back now because we've used it. We have a weapons rack. We have a gear rack. We have a med kit. We have a paintbrush and we have a flag. So to be able to make these, um, some of them don't have recipes, but it's a diamond in the middle with four glass blocks and four da uh, dandelion yellows to make the pod. So it's very simple. Then for the weapons rack, it's um, all the weapons with a diamond in the middle, with a claymore, with a C4 and with a grenade. So to be able to make each of these weapons, there's five in total. For the sniper, it's iron ingots in this sort of formation with a glass block, a stick, and a dandelion yellow. Then for the other ones, it's a pistol for an iron ingot in the middle, a stick, and dandelion yellows. Then for the shotgun, it's two iron ingots with a stick with a dandelion yellow. Then for the rifle, it's three iron ingots one stick and one dandelion yellow. Then for the final one, which is a launcher, it's three iron ingots, a gunpowder, dandelion yellow, and a stick. And then for the gear rack, it's pretty much wool in this formation. So you're gonna need four in total. Whichever one you wanna make, depending on the color, that's the color of wool you, you have to use. We're gonna be putting a diamond in the middle. To make the helmet, it's um, making normal armor, but instead with the wool and the color you wanna make. So for example, the helmet is made with this formation, then the body is made in this formation, so you're gonna need uh, eight in total. Then for the legs, it's in this formation, like an upside down U. Then for the boots or the shoes, it's made with four yellow walls in this formation, as if you're making like iron armor, diamond armor, whatever armor you're making, you just use the same recipes. So then for the med kit, it's a gold apple in the middle, with um, yellow wool in this formation, you're gonna need six in total, and that will get you the med kit, which will kind of heal you when you right click on it. Then finally, uh, we have two more. The paintbrush is made with two sticks and a yellow wool at the tip of it, which will make the paintbrush. Then finally, the flag is made with any sort of like stone, um, granite, you know, whatever you wanna make from it is up to you, with two sticks and a yellow wool, and that'll get you the flag. So you can like play a mini game with your friends, like obtain the flag or whatever you wanna make, it's really up to you. So let me go ahead and now spawn. See, this is what I mean. I don't think we're part of the yellow team anymore. So let me get rid of this. And let's put this one there, right click, there we go. We don't seem to be part of the blue team either. So inside, uh, you will be able to find a chest, which is quite cool with different sort of items in it. Uh, but overall, they're just in different colors, which is quite fancy. Then now let's try the red team. Let's see, are we part of this team? Nope, come on. Why can't I make it? Let's get rid of that. There we go. Um, am I part of this team? No, I'm not. It's so weird. I'm going to go and find out which team I'm part of, and I'll be right back. So I have managed to find out what the issue is, and it's very simple. 
All you have to do is once you get inside um, this house, you go inside and get out all these items, as I've shown you already, and you go outside and you will notice you have a gear rack and also a weapons rack. But then also you do have a few other ones like the pod and also the um, med kit and you do have the paintbrush which we can't use at the moment which we will hold on for later. And pretty much to be able to be part of a team you gotta right click, let's see, and we should have armor on, let's see, there you go, we have our armor on. Now just say we were in game mode zero, if we right click, you see that the bar went down. The bar at the top there will take a while for it to load, um, let me right click here. Wait, let me get rid of these items first, there we go. Let me right click. There you go, we now got all the weapons, which means that we are now part of the yellow team. Oh, and there we go, there's the bar, it's loading from the other side, so I must have been looking at it from this side. Um, it's really cool, which means that you just can't mass get these items, which is quite fair. Um, and just say, we've done these, so let's get rid of these. Um, just say you need some ammo, so you can right click on here and get some ammo. Um, it's very simple, to be honest. And just say you're on low health, you can always right click here and heal yourself. So it's very, very cool. Let me show you the weapons. Um, I don't want to really use any test subjects, but I can kind of see some over there. You guys ready? So you right click. There you go. It has a really good uh, little feature to it. It's basically, I would say, it's not the best item we have on here for weapons, but it's really cool. And then for the shotgun, it's exactly the same, um, and it will kind of produce these little pellets they, I think they're called yeah pellets so you will notice that if you shoot to say this far away none of the pellets will show on the ground and the reason for that is because you're so far away so the actual distance seems to only be a few steps um, but it's really handy when going for mobs that are really close to you so just say for this one for example eight life points so you right click and that will shoot them out there we go Oh, quite cool. And now for the pistol, it's very simple once again. If you left click, you can aim and you can right click to shoot. And there you go, right click to shoot. Perfect. And it's just simple to be honest. So we have a remote and let's get out these items here and put that back. We've done these. And let me get out the uh, sniper, the launcher, the grenade, the claymore and the C4. It's so cool. So for the rifle, you left click Let's see, can we find anything around there? If we uh, shoot there, you will notice that now that pellet is showing. I'm not sure if you can see it. Um, it's quite cool. Uh, let, let me do it here, actually. There you go. So if we left click and shoot, you will notice that the pellet is there. You can just right click if you want to. It's really up to you. This one shoots long distance compared to the other ones. As for the launcher, if you uh, left click, it will give you like a little aim. If you right click, it will shoot something that will then blow up in a few seconds. There you go. It'll blow up anything in a six radius, so anything that is six blocks wide um, in that location will get destroyed, so it's quite fancy. For the grenade, just right click and it will shoot them. It's so simple. For the claymore, anyone that isn't on your team that walks over it will get blown up. So it's quite scary, but the thing I'm worried about is how do you hide these stuff? Like how did they not know that's a claymore? Unless you put it all around your base and they're forced to walk over it, um, it's really up to them. So if I go on, what can I do? I'm just trying to figure out how I can blow myself up. If I take off my armor, maybe that will do? Oh, there you go. So taking off your armor will put you in like a neutral team and you will be against everyone. But then putting on your armors, you will look like this. And depending on which color you choose, you will look so different. So it's gonna be really cool. So for the, let's do it, the C4. The C4 will blow up um, when you have a remote. The remote is this one right here. And to be able to make this remote, all you got to do is get a redstone torch with button in the middle, with three iron ingots, and four dandelions, and they'll get you the remote. I never showed you guys on how to make um, the um, pellets. The pellets are made with dandelion yellows, um, with glass all around, and that will get you 32 pellets, not just one, 32. So let me show you on how to um, activate or deactivate the C4. You right click, and then you can say the remote does not have any C4 connected to it. So if you left click, it says the C4 is now connected to the remote. You can left click again to, you know, not connect it. So let me connect them both. There you go. And there you go. And now if I stand away and I right click, there you go. They're both detonated at the same time. And you get a little chat window that says that the connected C4s have been detonated. So no matter where you are, no matter who's after you, those will detonate and attack the targets. So, so cool. 
So before we go, I want to show you guys on how to make the um, pretty much like the C4, the grenades and all that kind of stuff. So let me get those out again. There we go. Let's go on our inventory. And here we have the grenade, which is made with a dandelion yellow with four iron ingots around. That'll get you one grenade. The claymore is made with a dandelion yellow with four iron ingots, but with two sticks, which is kind of like what they used to stick in the ground. And then the C4 is made with a dandelion yellow, a redstone torch, and four iron ingots. And that is everything, I think. I don't think I've missed anything out at all. So guys, um, thank you so much for watching. This is such a fun mod. Currently, it's only available in 1.8, but I'm sure they will update it very soon. If you want to download it, there will be a link in the description. And there will also be a link to this map. Um, it could be quite handy as a little... Um, sort of like a paintball map that you can use. You can run into the forest. You can have your starting grounds right here. It's really up to you. So guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. And I'll see you very soon with another video. Peace out.